and welcome to Adventures by Disney, Italy. From ancient ruins to classic art, Italy is a land of timeless treasures. And with Adventures by Disney, your family will get to know this fascinating country in ways you'd never expect. Your adventure begins in Rome, where the city's past comes to life. A private guide reveals the grandeur and excitement of the Colosseum, the romance of Trevi Fountain, and the historic beauty of the Sistine Chapel. Then we're off, touring the Tuscan countryside, where your family will learn to make authentic Italian pasta in the kitchen of a country estate. Your adventure continues at the birthplace of the great Italian Renaissance, Florence. Here you'll be surrounded by the city's most famous art and architecture. And with the help of a private guide leading the way, your family will discover the genesis of this important movement, including VIP access to Michelangelo's marble masterpiece, David. And finally, in Venice, you'll glide through the scenic canals on a private gondola, stroll through enchanting neighborhoods, and even learn their traditional craft of Venetian mask making from a world-renowned artisan. All of us at Adventures by Disney invite you to join us and see Italy in an entirely new way. Meet the people, experience the culture, and give your family the adventure of a lifetime. to Adventures by Disney, England and France. Two lands rich in history and culture. And with Adventures by Disney, you'll experience an active family vacation everyone will love. In London, you'll walk in the footsteps of royalty at historic Westminster Abbey and Buckingham Palace, as well as experience a privately guided visit to the infamous Tower of London. Our journey then takes us to Stonehenge, one of the great unsolved mysteries of the ancient world. Then it's off to Paris, the city of light, where a local expert will guide us on a private journey through the Louvre. While there, your children will have an unforgettable experience as our adventure guides lead them on an exclusive art detective game. We'll also explore the Palace of Versailles, where your whole family will share a privately guided bicycle journey through the palace's beautiful gardens. All of us at Adventures by Disney invite you to join us. See England and Paris in an entirely new way. Meet the people. Experience the culture. And give your family the adventure of a lifetime. differences about Adventures by Disney is the storytelling. We bring the stories of the world to life. What was really exciting about developing this trip was the idea that we could go ahead and find these great stories to tell people. And it's not just about Paris, it's about France and just the different regions that we go to and just the stories that we're able to tell from those different regions. I think that the best way that you can, you know, keep the authentic experience in all these places that we go is actually having the people who live there tell the story. So it's finding the places, then doing the research, and then when you actually get out to the field, meeting the people that are actually going to bring the story to life for us. But what's interesting is when we go back to what people's impressions are of certain parts of France, you know, things have to be included. You know, Mont Saint-Michel had to be included just because of what it is. It's so iconic. But then it's us finding the story, you know, and bring it to the next level, and being able to immerse them in that experience. So when we go into Monet's garden, it's someone who knows all about Monet. And I think that it really does feel, um, you know, very genuine because you're actually in his house, you're eating the food that he likes. You've got a person who's just very knowledgeable on Monet that lives in that village, in Giverny. 
And the same thing happens when we go, you know, into Normandy. We go to Omaha Beach and we go to the American Cemetery there. And what's really interesting about the local expert we have there is the way that she brings that, you know, whole piece to life. It's people that know the people that live there now and know the history of the area. So you can look at pictures of some of these places and you can look at videos and whatnot, but until you're actually there, I'll give the example of uh, Chambord from where they're at the Chateau de Chambord, and it is huge. It's breathtaking, number one, but then just the size of it. And we actually get to bike ride, you know, through the, the grounds there. It's, it's just so impressive. And then something else that's really exciting is where Leonardo da Vinci spent the last years of his life. It's just great to be able to walk around there, be in his house, and, and uh, kind of see the way that he lived and there are great reproductions of the inventions that he made in the gardens there. I'm so excited uh, for people to actually hear about the trip and then to actually be on the trip. I can't wait to see faces and hear reactions from the first people that get a chance to, to go and experience this because it's brand new and the things that we found and the places we stay and the things that we do, so exciting. I just can't wait for people to hear about it and, and to see it. Welcome to Adventures by Disney, Scotland. From the rich history of Edinburgh to the rugged beauty of the Highlands, Scotland is a land filled with majestic sights and timeless traditions. And with Adventures by Disney, your family will get to experience it in ways few people ever do. At Edinburgh Castle, a private guide will make history come alive as you explore this incredible place. You'll then enjoy a private welcome dinner just for Adventures by Disney guests. You'll also travel to a private estate where you'll take a Highland pony ride through the ancient Caledonian forest. And with Glam's Castle in the background, you and your family will get the chance to test your archery skills under the watchful eye of a local instructor. Our journey will also take us to Scotland's famous Loch Ness. And while we can't promise you'll see Nessie, your family will have a great time on an expertly guided canoe trip across the crystal clear waters of the loch. On the Isle of Skye, you'll stand in awe of the unique rock formations known as the Old Man of Store and Kilt Rock. You'll also explore Eileen Donnan Castle, one of Scotland's most iconic and spectacular sites. And to top off your day, the whole family will learn Kaylee dancing from a group of local musicians. From its inspiring natural beauty to its incredibly rich and diverse culture, Scotland is a land like no other. And all of us at Adventures by Disney would love to share it with you. So join us as we adventure together. I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled because I knew um, even before I started putting shape to the itinerary that the country of Greece has a plethora of activities, experiences, and stories to tell. And so what I do is I try to plan those moments. Everything from the iconic historical sites of Athens and Delphi to the hidden gems. So the experiences have to really captivate and, and highlight what is essential and what's compelling about the destination. One could easily spend a lifetime in Greece exploring nothing but historical sites. Unfortunately, I knew that I had to create an itinerary that was going to be 10 days in length. But therefore, some, some hard choices had to be made in terms of some of the historical sites. The most famous um, is the Acropolis. Right off the bat, I knew that was going to be the main, the main site that we were going to include in Athens. Then I also knew that I wanted to bring our guests to the islands. One of the most photographed islands um, is Santorini. 
Santorini was created by a series of volcanoes. And so we've chartered a private sailing vessel. Our guests are going to sail across the caldera, we'll walk to the rim of the volcano. You know, it's like the most sun-kissed area that one can imagine in the middle of the Mediterranean. In addition to ancient Greek history, I wanted to tell the Minoan story. The Minoans were the people, the civilization that started off on the island of Crete. It's also a very colorful, photogenic site. I didn't feel that it would be very responsible to include an itinerary that includes the island of Crete and not bring them to the Palace of Knossos. The way in which we create authentic experiences is, is multifaceted. When I start engaging with the locals, I start trying to paint the picture of, of what we want our guests to appreciate and experience. What this allows for is an ability to really enjoy the destination and listen and engage in the stories of that particular locale, that location. The theme of the day is Shepherd's Walk, and it's really to expose them and immerse them into Cretan mountain life. When we actually bring our guests to the Shepherd's Station, where he's milking his sheep, and then we watch him and actually engage in making the cheese with him, that's an authenticity that not a lot of people get to experience. And, you know, these type of experiences are, are pretty difficult to find in guidebooks. Clearly, the guests, after they go on this experience in Greece, they're going to say it's the best vacation they've ever had in their lives. I have absolutely no doubt about it. And when I came back from my last trip, I said to myself, how am I going to wait a year? I want, I, I want to see the guests on this trip tomorrow. I want it to be tomorrow. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. This is my family, Emily, Caroline, Anna, Scott, and Taylor. And welcome to our Greek Odyssey with Adventures by Disney. Wow, what a day we had today in Athens. It was amazing. We started out at a stadium that was built in 1896 for the first modern Olympics. And we watched our junior adventurers get to race in it. And then we headed off to the Acropolis. Yet on top of the Acropolis, you will see what it is. It's actually the backside of an amphitheater. We made it to the top and took a look around at the beautiful temple that was built for Athena. We found the olive tree. We saw the olive tree that she planted and gave to the city of Athens in ancient times. We headed back down to Plotka, to the old town in Greece, and had a wonderful lunch. And we headed back to the hotel to have a little break and downtime and swimming. For our wonderful welcome dinner, we went with all our fellow adventurers and ate again in the Plotka, where we had another delicious, fresh Greek meal. We saw Greek dancers, we heard Greek music, and we actually got to do some dancing ourselves. And now we're back, winding up our day, and tomorrow we're off to Delphi to see the Oracle. Welcome to day three of our Greek Odyssey. We're in Delphi, the center of the earth. We're here at Apollo's ancient temple in Delphi. This was the center of the ancient Greek world, right here in these mountains. People made pilgrimages from all over Greece to come and to thank Apollo and leave him gifts because he was their god of music and light and he brought peace to the region and to hear their oracles and find out what their future was. We're here in an ancient amphitheater. It's 2,500 years old. This is where years ago, chorus groups from different cities all over Greece would travel here to come and compete for the coveted prize of a laurel wreath on their head. We had a wonderful day of ancient Greece. I'm looking forward to living the island life in Santorini. That's coming up next. Welcome to Santorini. Opa! After a brief flight from Athens, we're here in Santorini and our first stop is the Vulcan Winery. 
As soon as we arrived at the winery, we had a beautiful buffet lunch waiting for us with in-house wines already on the table. After our wonderful lunch, the junior adventurers went off for fun activities while the adults enjoyed a wine tasting. After the wine tasting, we got back together with the kids and we went off for some grape stomping fun. Oh, this is really gross. <laughs> That's so disgusting. It's slippery and wet, but surprisingly therapeutic. <laughs> day two in spectacular Santorini. What better way to start our day than with a cruise across the Caldera, where we're going to hike up to the top of that volcano. You can hear all the crunching sound of our feet. It sounds like Zeus and the gods eating cereal. This is really hot. It's burning my hand. But it's gas. It's not steam. It's coming up from the center of the earth. I mean, this group is literally four to 84 years old, and we've got something for everybody. It was a, a great family experience to be outside and do something active together. There are no video games up here. We had a lovely swim in the Aegean Sea. Super saucy, but so refreshing. <laughs> and the kids really had a wonderful time. Next, we're off to a quaint little seaside village for a lovely Greek lunch and a donkey ride. We're getting on a donkey. <laughs> oh, it was quite an experience. We went straight up vertical on the back of a donkey. The bells were a nice touch, but the donkeys were not the smartest animals. It's true, but it was fun. <laughs> After probably our best day yet, we've had a wonderful dinner here in front of the beautiful, spectacular Santorini sunset. We're off to the Palace of Knossos. We're here at the ancient Minoan Palace. It has over a thousand rooms. It's a beautiful day and we're getting a great history lesson. Have been the place where the queen was washing her hair. Uh, we want any way to have her bath. Okay. The highlight of this tour was seeing the queen's chambers. Gave us a real connection to the people that lived here thousands of years ago. This is a reenactment of an ancient Cretan village. It's been built for us to enjoy and see how people lived hundreds of years ago in the traditional life, the good Greek life. People used to come here and play comboloi, play the cards, play tavli, drink coffee and rouge and raki. We're enjoying a traditional Cretan drink of raki, yamas. Woo! Wow! 